if we want the American technology stack to win around the world, then giving up 50% of the world's AI researchers is not sensible. We had the Huawei CEO come out the other day, try to downplay some of the progress being made on the chip front. What is your assessment of the chip side of the equation in China and the AI model and software side of the equation in China as well and how they progress it? Our technology is a generation ahead of theirs. However, the important thing to remember is that AI tech, AI is a parallel problem. If, if uh, each one of the computers are not as capable, just have more computers. And what he's saying is that in China, they have plenty of energy, they'll just use more chips. And so in a lot of ways, he was saying that China's technology is good enough for China. And if United States doesn't want to partake, participate in China, um, Huawei's got China covered and Huawei's got everybody else covered. The important thing about China is both the business is important, uh, but strategically it's even more important that the American technology stack is what AI developers around the world builds on. If we want the American technology stack to win around the world, then giving up 50% of the world's AI researchers is not sensible. And so that's the most important part strategically. Where AI developers develop their technology, it will run best on that technology. And so over time, as AI diffuses around the world, uh, we are not alone. The United States is not alone. Uh, if China diffuse, when China and starts to aggressively diffuse the, their AI technology, uh, so long as all the AI developers are in China, you know, I think China stack is going to win.